Priming and Social Stories Priming is a way of previewing future events, materials, or learning activities in a relaxed environment. This provides more predictability to those who struggle with transitions and new experiences by showing what those situations will be like from their point of view. Social Stories, Video Footage or at-home rehearsals are great priming tools to prepare individuals for an unfamiliar environment. For example, you might use a video of an airport to prepare for a family vacation. Rehearse the checkout line at the grocery store before you go. Or read a story at home before it is read to the group in school. Providing frequent choices within a task providing options surrounding a particular task allows an individual to become an active participant in a situation. This increases motivation and enhances self-control as they can choose for themselves and are no longer a bystander receiving instructions about what to do. Give choices whenever possible. For example, although a child must do homework during homework time, you can offer choices about whether to do homework at their desk or at the kitchen table. With mom or dad, with a pen or pencil, etc. For nonverbal individuals, picture boards are helpful tools for providing visual choices. Embedding dislike tasks in enjoyable tasks embedding allows the individual to intersperse complex or dislike tasks among easy and preferred ones, this enhances motivation and increases the opportunity for personal and behavioral success. For instance, you can embed three challenging math problems in a set of ten or have someone take two or three bites of a preferred food for each taste of a new food. This way, the individual feels successful and motivated to try new things. Incorporating perseverative interests A perseverative interest is an object, activity, or topic in which an individual is intensely interested. Incorporating perseverative interests allows an individual to complete a task that they don't like in the context of something they do like. For example, an individual might practice handwriting, a task they dislike, by copying lines from their favorite movie. Similarly, one could use Legos, something they love, to create math problems. Generalized reinforcement Generalized reinforcement allows the individual to pair a non-preferred task with a wide variety of highly preferred, tangible activities or social reinforcers. Combining preferred foods, music, games, or other supports with a challenging task can help lower anxiety and provide adequate comfort to cope. Functional communication training Teaching communication skills can help an individual with autism express what they want without resorting to challenging behaviors. Identifying triggers is the first step toward assisting individuals in learning to ask for what they need through language instead of behavior. Every individual is different, the key to effectively implementing a replacement strategy is to provide communication skills that serve the same purpose as the challenging behaviors but are more productive. For example, teach the individual to ask, am I doing a good job? To replace outbursts related to attention or, I need a break for outbursts related to task avoidance or escape. Individuals with limited speech can learn to use one word instead of several, i.e., iPad instead of I want the iPad. Augmented communication devices or picture aids can also be helpful. Coping skills Coping skills refer to exercises or steps that help an individual manage an uncomfortable or stressful situation. These can include mindfulness exercises such as deep breathing or progressive muscle relaxation, positive self-reinforcement with phrases like, I can do it or thinking of a favorite cartoon or song during an unpleasant situation.